okay so press this till you see the green led once you see the green led you just leave it let it start you can to make sure that you are connecting the rover antenna for the rover don't mix it with the base antenna bluetooth is on Okay, you can see the Bluetooth over here is also on. Bluetooth over here is on. Now we will try to connect until it starts on. So you can see the arrow inwards is blinking, which means that this is configured to work as a robot. So you can see over here, the Bluetooth icon is circling, which means it's connecting now. To so now the controller is connected to the antenna. We have 11 satellites are being tracked now. We have got six satellites on the GPS. We have got five satellites of the GLONASS, and the radio is it's receiving. So we have to now wait till we get the position over here. The same, dono ko ye. So now you have a cross over here, okay, this cross means it's in centimeter accuracy, so which means that now you can start the RTK survey. So when you get a cross over here, this one changes from orange to steady green. So this also gives you an indication, when it's steady green that means you are ready to do work. It's now not ready, huh? No, it's ready, it's steady green now. It's not blinking, it's normal green. So here you have a cross. It's important that you get the cross. So once you get a cross, you are ready to start the RTK survey. Okay. So now, as I explained over here, you have these four menus over here: Go to Work, Jobs, Data, Instruments, and Users. So you click on Go to Work, and then you have Surveys, Take Out, and all these functions. So we start the survey. The survey is basically used when you need to collect some points, you know, pick up some points and coordinates and all these things. So now we give a point ID over here. So for example, three. Press enter. The antenna height is set, is set to 1.8, so this you can make it a 2. So, the idea of keeping it at 2 is as high as possible, it's good for you. Okay, so now it's 2 meters, this is fine. You have 3D CQ factor, which is 0.2. Okay, so now we take a measurement. So, you have to level the bubble, and then you can take like 5 positions, click stop. And then click store. Click and now move to the next point. The word is if you want to see the point, you can just click here. It takes you to the point management. Just select the point number two or three. Click edit. And that's the coordinates for the point. Saying, not saying I'm yeah. Okay. Survey. So go so, to work. Survey. survey. Give a point ID. Select this point. Measure. Click measure. Stop. Take like three, four positions. And then click stop. And then click stop. Click stop. Then move to the. If you go to the map page, you can see over here. This gives you an indication. So that's basically your reference station, mm. and that's basically the point which you measure. So this is your position. So now if you want, you can take a measurement, click stop, the point is from the store, point is from. 